Today we are going to run extreme benchmark test on the new Moto E4 Plus. We'll be using CPU Z to show you technical specifications of the handset and other applications to run our benchmark test. First off, in the CPU Z, you can see that the device is powered by MediaTek MT6737 processor clocked at 1.25 GHz of ARM 4X Cortex A53 architecture and uses Mali 720p GPU to process graphics for UI, gaming, and other purposes. The Moto E4 Plus features a 5.46 display, 720p pixels at 268 pixels per inch, and has got a 25 GB available to use and 1598 MB of RAM. The system runs on Android 7.1.1 Nougat and has 5000 mAh battery. There's only three kind of sensors on the device which are accelerometer, light and proximity sensors. Now let's get started with our benchmark test starting off with anti tube benchmark application. Antutu 2 benchmark test has completed and it has given the Moto E4 Plus a score of 30,688 from which the 2,353 belongs to 3D, 13,673 to UX, 10,348 to CPU and 4,314 to RAM. Coming to 3D performance, the Antutu 2 states the device to be mid-level for gaming purposes which is quite good for this price segment you can get on the flip card. Speaking about CPU, Antutu 2 states it can be used for daily needs. Placing it in the middle segment of these all smartphones available in the Indian market and all over the world. The Moto E4 Plus is ranked by 51 by anti 2 in its ranking system. Switching to Nina Mark 2, it's used to test gaming performance of the handset, showing off the amount of FPS it can attain during gaming sessions. So let's go ahead and start the benchmark. The test has completed obtaining 54.2 frames per second meaning it can attain maximum performance for medium level gaming experience. Now starting off with the Geekbench CPU benchmark it measures the performance of the CPUs at everyday tasks designed to e stimulate real world applications. Let's start off with the benchmark. Geekbench CPU benchmark has completed giving 544 single core score and 1516 multi core score for the Moto E4 Plus. Other than that, there's only system info listed below. Now let's run GPU benchmark from Geekbench application. Geekbench has given the Moto E4 Plus a score of 974 for rendering applications, among which 70.2 megapixel for Gaussian Blur and 18.3 megapixel for RAW. Coming to the last benchmark application, we'll be using Slingshot's Extreme Test in 3D Mark to test maximum performance in 3D for the handset. So let's get started.
The slingshot extreme has given a very low score of one out score showing that the Moto E4 Plus cannot handle extreme 3D content. That is it for today. We'll be back again soon with the gaming review of the device. Until then, like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon.